For our next story, let me begin with a folk tale about a hen that laid golden eggs. Maybe you've heard it before. Once upon a time, a farmer had a hen. It laid a golden egg every day. The farmer assumed that the hen must contain a lump of gold inside its body. So he killed the hen, but he found no gold. And this is what he was left with. No gold and no daily golden egg. That's the story. Now imagine a twist. The farmer has a dead hen and he starts ticketing people to come and see it, to see the dead hen. He starts charging people so they can witness the corpse of a bird that was once lucrative. I know it sounds grim and odd, but that's exactly what's happening in Afghanistan, except here, instead of a golden hen, it's Buddhist statues. And instead of the farmer, it is the Taliban. The terrorist group that now rules Afghanistan, the Taliban. Let me show you what they're up to. These are the great Buddhas of Bamiyan in Afghanistan. They were priceless artifacts, thought to be the two biggest standing Buddhas on the planet. They awed travelers across the world for 15 centuries. Some 800 years ago, they survived the wrath of Genghis Khan. They managed to withstand his cannon fire, but what they could not manage to survive was the Taliban. Taliban founder Muhammad Omar declared the Buddhas false gods. He said these idols have been gods of the infidels. And this is what followed. The Taliban destroyed these statues in 2001, bit by bit, with hammers, with spades, with explosives, ignoring pleas from all over the world. And this cemented the Taliban's image on the world stage as uncompromising extremists. Now the Taliban are back in power and the Babian Buddhas are gone. Only two gaping holes remain, but the statues once stood. And you know what the Taliban now say? The Buddha should not have been bombed. The Taliban are calling them an important part of Afghanistan's cultural heritage. They're inviting tourists to Bamiyan and selling tickets to visit the bombed site. For Afghans, the price is 58 cents. For foreigners, it's $3.45. Quite the shift, right? The golden question is why? And the simple answer is the golden hen. I'll explain. Afghanistan is one of the least developed countries in the world. Its economy continues to deteriorate. It faces international sanctions. It is losing humanitarian aid. It needs money, desperately. And it sees the remains in Bamiyan as a potential source of revenue. The golden hen, even dead, can be lucrative. But are people actually buying it? The Taliban government thinks so. Last year, it says some 200,000 registered tourists visited Bamiyan. They spent an average of $57 each, and Bamiyan is one of the poorest regions in the impoverished country. So this seems like a decent deal, but apparently it's not good enough. Because these Buddha cavities receive mainly two types of visitors. Some are Taliban soldiers themselves stationed nearby. Others are educated urban Afghans, mostly still angry at the Taliban. What the regime wants is to draw cultural enthusiasts and archaeologists from abroad. Can they pull it off though? It's hard to say at this point. The Taliban may want to position themselves as the champions of culture and make some money off it. But drawing foreign tourists will be a challenge.